Now we're going to add details on the birch trees. Birch trees are really easy, especially when they're small. Birch, if you remember, have black marks on them, and those are the places where the branches come out. When you look at birches from far away, you just see the black marks, and that's what we'll do. So watch the video, see how it's done. What you need is a dark color, and we're going to make those tiny marks on the birch. Make sure that your birch trees are dry first. So there are larger marks usually near the bottom and then you just keep adding. They're not all on the same side. Sometimes you put some on one side and others on the other. You can skip large areas and you can make tiny ones, fat ones, Irregular is the key word because in nature that's what they look like. And you just get smaller and smaller marks the higher up you go. So on the second one, now you work that one, larger marks on the bottom, smaller marks at the top. I love birches. The marks make him so much more interesting than a regular tree. And these marks are usually where the branches come out. In this case, we're not going to see the branches. We're only going to see the marks and the trees. On the trees, I should say. So we're done two trees. We're going to do the last one. Tiny marks, irregular marks. Those are the key words. If there are any words you are to remember when you're doing this, those are the words to remember. When they're irregular and different sizes, they look more natural. So we're almost done getting up there and creating a larger one and then small ones. And that's it for this step. I'm just going to tweak the bottom a little bit. Add a little more dark around the rock because there should be more shadow. And a few marks on the ground. And that's the project right there. I want to soften those marks with a little bit of clean water. Clean water is the key word. There, smooth it out. But those marks help guide your eye towards the rock. And here we go. And a little bit more. Just there, a few pieces of grass. A few more right there, taller ones. Before we had put little ones, now we're going to put taller ones. And make sure the shadow is the same all the way across. So you have one dark shadow at the bottom of the rock. And that looks pretty complete. The trick to finding out if you're done is to squint. If you squint and you don't see any blatant really bright dark areas and really bright uh, white areas, then you know you're done. Everything seems like it works pretty well, nicely blended, and that's it for now. Just tweaking some more, almost done. A few more dark marks, a little more of a shadow for your rock. And a few more for your trees. There, that looks a lot better, don't, don't you think? And I'm trying to make sure that there's a focal point. So you look in one area more than the others. And I add a few spatters of paint just to add gravel, small rocks. If you don't like them, you sponge them off like that. Or you can take your brush and take them off with your brush. But here's the project. That's the end. Hope you like it.